So it's been a little while and I thought it was time to do another Lightburn demo. Um, quite a bit has happened lately. Um, let's see, first of all, SVG support. Um, I've got, if I just drag and drop an SVG in, um, <clears throat> we're handling creating new layers, cut layers, based on the distinct colors in the SVG file. I do the same thing with uh, Adobe Illustrator files. Um, handling arcs, circles, ellipses, rectangles, uh, pretty much everything in the file. Um, and if I go into node edit mode, you can see like the arcs are actually proper splines and so on. Um, that is my dog going crazy behind me. Um, <clears throat> what else? Um, DXFs. I have also added support for DXFs. Um, I can drag and drop a DXF just like I could anything else. Now, a lot of software that exists, uh, I'm looking at you, Inkscape, does kind of a crappy job with DXF files. So if you look at this, this is all tiny little line segments. It's been exported as just bits and pieces. So in order to help out with that, um, I've added tools to do joining. So if you look at this, I just auto joined it. And so now this is uh, distinct shapes. This one is actually kind of a bad example because there's spots here in the file where there's overlap. Um, however, it's a whole lot better than it was before. The other thing that a lot of uh, DXF exporters do is they create really, really dense objects. So tons of points, even points that are in a straight line, which is really silly and I'm not sure why anybody would do that. Um, however, Lightburn now has an optimize function. So you click the button and now you have recovered splines and recovered lines and generally speaking it just looks a whole lot better. Um, this also makes for a significantly smaller file. The original file with this density of points saves to about a megabyte and a half. Um, with this point density, it saves to just under 250K. So that's pretty significant. Um, it's also worth mentioning that Lightburn is kind of fast. Um, I have Aspire. I am a registered user. You can see my name up here. Um, if I take one of my uh, generated, let me find that file, um, here. So I have <clears throat> a file that I made with Halftoner, um, which you may have heard of. Um, this file is a, kind of an iconic truck image that people use for uh, image engraving. Um, it's got a lot of circles in it. And you can see when I'm trying to zoom in or even just navigate around uh, Aspire, which is a $1,500 piece of software, is kind of choking. Um, dragging the view is going pretty, pretty slow. Doing operations on this stuff takes quite a while. If I zoom in, it takes a really long time. Um, so notice that. Um, let me clear this file out. Um, also, pay attention to how long it takes. So I'm about to drop, and the import happens relatively quick, but then navigating is pretty slow. Compare that to Lightburn. So here's the same file in Lightburn. Drop. Um, I can zoom, move around, navigate, pan, um, <clears throat> select, Oh, I have to ungroup them. They come in grouped automatically. Um, move them around, so on and so on and so on. Um, Lightburn is really fast, and it's been authored to be really fast. Um, I pay attention to these things. Um, I have a game development background, so I'm actually a little bit anal about making things quick. Um, anyhow, um, that's the bulk of what's really new. Um, in general, there have been a lot of bug fixes lately. Um, I still have a bunch of stuff to do for uh, DXF files. I feel like SVGs are working quite well. Um, most SVG files that I've thrown at it just work now. Um, <clears throat> so this world map, um, the Grinch, so on and so on and so on. There's 
quite a few uh, files that I've tried it with and they all seem to be fine. Um, so I think SVG support is pretty good. Um, I'm not dealing with a lot of what's in an SVG file because I don't support things like gradients and different stroke widths and fills and stuff like that. So it's easier for me to handle it than something like Inkscape. Um, but that said, I'm still doing a fairly decent job of it. Um, anything else? Don't think so. Uh, like I said, a bunch of bug fixes have happened recently. Um, <clears throat> just general uh, cleaning up, for example, if I quit when I restart. Um, Lightburn remembers the position and size and layout of my window. That didn't happen before. Um, lots of small details like that that are um, more usability things than anything. I've changed a couple of the icons and moved a couple of things. So like preview is up here now, um, which makes a little more sense. Font is down here. It used to be up here. Um, but I kept actually trying to click down here because this is where all the tools are. Um, so it's coming along. Progress is being made. I am hoping for a release um, probably middle of November. Um, so thanks for watching.